Yeah, okay. So I was uh, writing my thesis. Uh, it was based on OMNET++ and uh, Spacewire. Uh, the topic was the timing analysis of uh, Spacewire using OMNET++ based simulator. Uh, so uh, in this presentation, I will uh, show some of the uh, things what I did already in my thesis. Uh, so the agenda is that I will first uh, introduce what is uh, uh, what is Spacewire, uh, then uh, motivation for uh, uh, Spacewire simulation, uh, and then uh, then what is there in the simulation, and uh, in the fourth part I will. Uh, uh, explain the evaluation or experimentation I did, and finally I will uh, conclude and uh, talk about the future uh, works. So, Spacewire is a standard for communication uh, for onboard uh, uh, onboard instruments or onboard satellite. Uh, so, it, it could be either a point-to-point -point network or uh, with uh, with routers. Um, so before uh, Spacewire actually was introduced, uh, there were a lot of different standards, uh, which was not that uh, easy to uh, maintain. Uh, and as a result of that, uh, there was like common standard introduced, which uh, all the instruments on spacecraft can be integrated with a common uh, common standard, like, like a Spacewire. So in the figure in the right, what you can see is like in the blue, uh, interface blue line is uh, all uh, space wire interface. Uh, so uh, you can also see like instrument one is connected directly to mass memory module, and that's an example of a point-to-point -point, uh, connection. Or like instrument two is connected via a, a router to mass memory module. Uh, that's an example of a connection with routers. Uh, so and also uh, like if uh, some of the instrument could could not have a space wire interface, so they could be in, uh, interface or integrated into the existing uh, interface of uh, space wire in the spacecraft. So instrument three and instrument four are examples of that. Uh, so after the data is collected at mass memory uh, module, it could be either sent to Earth via telemetry or uh, protocols like RTEMS or something. Uh, so this was just a basic example of what is uh, Spacewire. So now uh, Spacewire's router, uh, they have a wormhole, uh, they are wormhole based uh, uh, networks. Uh, what it means is that there is always a small memory buffer at each interface. So in the figure in the below left, you can see uh, uh, small buffers and there are flows like uh, flows are in uh, blue uh, pink and uh, and green so for example if, if a blue packet is wants to go from a to f then it could be that buffer is uh, already occupied in the module uh, below near e with a with a green so it has to wait uh, for a really a longer duration of time. If we talk more uh, specifically about how uh, Spacewire uh, implements uh, wormhole routing, then in the top you can see a node 1 is uh, transmitting a longer message to node 6. And uh, because of that, node 2 also wants to transmit a message to node 6, but the message, is, uh, message will get blocked inside the router 2. Uh, same is with uh, node 3 either sending message to node 6 or uh, it wants to send even to node 5 but it will have to wait a longer duration of time uh, so apart from this there is no virtual channel support in uh, spacewire uh, so virtual channel allows uh, multiplexing of uh, packets uh, over a channel so more than one packets can tra travel through through one channel by multiplexing or taking uh, or, or dividing a time uh, between between the transmission. Uh, packets could be very large, so it could uh, make even more difficult to predict uh, when the packet will reach. Now, uh, this uh, space wire is used on board a spacecraft and it is really important to have a predictable nature, uh, but this limitations makes it uh, um, makes it undeterministic or there's no real-time performance. So I was doing a 
space fire simulation uh, in my thesis. So before moving to actual simulation, space fire has uh, two different kinds of uh, routing strategies. Uh, so in the left, you can see a path addressing type of uh, routing uh, in which there is a source node wants to transmit a message to destination. And uh, so, so the header in the header of a message, there will be a path to uh, from from source to the destination, and each uh, routing point. Uh, in this case, a router will check the header and delete the first element and send rest of the packet. Similarly, router two will do the same, and at the end there will be like cargo and end of packet. Uh, in case of logical addressing, there will be like a, a routing table in each uh, each routers. So, and each destination will be given a unique identifier. Uh, and uh, at each uh, at each routing point, it will look uh, very very where exactly the destination is, and the message will be uh, transmitted like this. So uh, in the simulation, I had uh, two different kinds of module, like nodes and routers. Uh, nodes could be of either of type source node, uh, and it, or it could be like destination node. Source node could uh, uh, generate a many different message with a random distribution of time. Like if I want to generate a, a messages at uh, one, at one second, I, I, I should be able to do that or with a distribution around normal distribution, let's say around one second, then I, I could be able to do that with a different size of packets and queue to store messages. So now queue is uh, there to uh, implement uh, uh, somehow this uh, wormhole uh, uh, routing. Uh, so if, if the buffer is full, the module which is sending a message from one to, to the next will not be able to send because the buffer in the next module is already occupied. Uh, then in the router also there is a queue, uh, but it's a fixed size queue and it has a routing table. Then I had a message files. Uh, normally on net there is like, we can define different kinds of message. Uh, in this case, I had two different kinds of message path and logical addressing. Then uh, then there was a network uh, network with the different modules. Uh, so I can format, uh, I can establish a network and uh, define connections. And uh, normally there is omnet to configure the parameters and run, run the simulation. So now moving to experiments, uh, what I did. So in the figure in the this network, what you can see is there are uh, three uh, source nodes. They are connected via a router, router one and router two to, to node three. And uh, for the first kind, uh, first kind of experiments, uh, what I did was that uh, I send a number of messages, like thousand messages, uh, with a uh, with a normal distribution around around a mean value of a thousand millisecond from from this source node to to the destination. And uh, for the first me uh, first experiment, the packet length was six set to 64 bytes, and for the second experiment, it was set to 128 bytes. This was just to compare uh, uh, the end-to-end -end delay and other uh, other pa network parameters uh, between these experiments. Uh, yeah. So uh, after I run this uh, the simulation, uh, these are the key results. Uh, in the figure in the left, you can see uh, event number. Uh, on the x axis and on the y, you can see the latency. Uh, you can also see the latency was higher in the middle because I had used uh, normal distribution. Uh, so with uh, twice the increase in uh, message length, there was like 15 times uh, uh, increase in maximum uh, latency. Uh, yeah. Then uh, second experiment was with uh, many source node uh, experiment. In that I had more than one source node, like uh, instead of only one node, uh, I had node zero, node two, and node three. All of them are sending message uh, uh, with particular distribution. Uh, this was done to just uh, uh, just create a, a 
blocking inside a router one so that a queue in the router is uh, gets full uh, during the peak time or whenever there are more than uh, predefined uh, messages. So in this case, I had like in router one, uh, 10 messages after 10 messages, node won't be able to transmit any more messages. So what I observed was that there was increase in total simulation time and there was uh, blocking inside a router one uh, with uh, like node zero observed like 193 times and node one uh, wasn't able to send message for 261 uh, times and node two 396 times. So this was the, just a overall uh, result what I got. And then I would uh, in the to conclude this work, uh, it it was possible to uh, analyze the end-to-end -end delay for different uh, space wire packets. Uh, blocking of pack, uh, blocking of packets, which is an issue in space wire, can be analyzed uh, with uh, wormhole routing. And in the future, I had like in this simulation, I had a, a packet level simulation, but a bit level simulation can also be done. Uh, simulation can also be done in detail or uh, emulation with uh, software in the loop or hardware in the loop can be can be done. Uh, there is also a possibility to do testing and validation of uh, instruments with uh, predefined test cases uh, before integrating them into the actual mission. Yeah, thank you.